this problem, it says in a sample of 400 lithium atoms, 30 of them are lithium-6, which has an atomic mass of 6.015. If you assume you have two stable isotopes of lithium, so we can call that the lithium-6 ion, I mean, sorry, isotope, and then you also have the, we're going to, we know it's 7, or you might know it's 7, but let's say we don't know it. It doesn't matter, actually. It's the other one. But you have the lithium-6 isotope and the other lithium isotope. Turns out that the percent abundance of the lithium-6 isotope and the lithium-7 isotope have to equal 100% if they are the only two lithium isotopes. That means that you need to first figure out what is the percent abundance of lithium-6. So I will say percent of the lithium-6. Um, and then don't forget that you also need to figure out the percent abundance for the, let's, let's pretend like we don't know it's lithium-7, but the other lithium isotope, because we know they got to equal 100%. We are not given any percents, but we actually are given that there are 400 lithium atoms in this sample and 30 of them are the lithium-6 isotope. So that means that we are going to do a division. 30 divided by 400 is 0 0.075. I'm basically finding what percent, what percent of 400 is 30. So I just did 30 divided by 400 and I got 0 0.075, which we know is 7.5%. So just a reminder that when you have a fraction, you turn it into a percent by multiplying by 100. It's going to be helpful. You're going to have to actually do this. To divide by 100, we know that you do the opposite to turn it back into a decimal or a fractional abundance. Now, at 7.5% 7 of the atoms are the lithium-6 ion, that means that the other 92.5% has to be the other lithium isotope. And if I say ion, sorry, but I mean isotope. So get rid of this. Now we have this information. This is helpful because we also have their masses. In general, I want to remind you, that when you see a periodic table, and let's say you see lithium, I believe, is the third element, and Li, and you might see this 6.94. When you look on the periodic table and you see this, 3 is the atomic number, which is how many protons it has. It's also the nuclear charge. This here is the weighted average for the atomic mass, and that's what they're going to be using because this you're finding you already have the weighted number. So let's get rid of this. Actually, no, I'll undo that. Shrink this down as reference. Pretend like you look on the periodic table to see this. And let's set up a problem. So we know already that the weighted average for lithium truly is 6.94. And here's the thing about percent abundance problems. We're dealing with two different isotopes here. So this first thing is going to belong to the lithium-6 isotope. And the second thing is going to belong to the Let's pretend like we don't know it's lithium-7, the other isotope. That just represents the two isotopes of lithium. What information do we know? Well, we actually have some important information already. Regarding the lithium-6 information, we know it has an atomic mass of 6.015. So we're going to take our percent, turn it back into a fractional number, so a decimal. So 0 it here 0 0.075 don't forget we're going to multiply that by its mass which is 6.015 now we got to deal with the other isotope which is the rest of the atoms so if 30 were lithium-6 then the other 370 have to be the other lithium isotope we know that that's going to be 0 0.925, that's the abundance, the percent abundance, and we multiply that by the mass. Turns out we don't know the mass of the other isotope. That's actually what you're solving for. It says determine the mass of the other isotope. This is your other isotope. We know the percent, 
and the mass for the first for the first isotope. We know the percent for the second isotope. We just don't know the mass. I'm going to put m here as a placeholder. And this is where you do algebra. You can rewrite this a little bit more neatly if you want. 6.94 is equal to, if it helps you to turn this whole quantity into one number, go ahead and do that. Point, point zero 0.075. So 0 0.075. If I multiply that by 6.015, I get 4 or 0 0.4. Four, five, one, one, two, five. See, things are not important right now. And we're adding to that this purple stuff. So we can take this, duplicate, make it neater. And you ultimately need to solve for m. So you know how to do algebra. I would just say the first step is subtract these two numbers, this number I should say, from both sides, as you would do when doing algebra problems. And then step two is to divide both sides by this. Ultimately, you need to solve for m. So through a series of math that you should know, m is equal to some number of amu. Notice how all the values are kind of near seven. So you really do have to do the math here.